What's up, everyone? Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters with a, a bit of a random opening. So for those of you that watch the GP Chicago vlog, you know that we drafted original Ravnica, which was about 60 bucks a person or something like that. And uh, Mr. Lengthy Zemet uh, kind of headed that up, although um, there were some other minds involved. And uh, while someone did pull a Dark Confidant during the, during the draft... Um, and Court of Calling is being reprinted, there are still some saucy cards in original Ravnica. Uh, roughly a $500 box currently. So I basically wind my way into getting Mr. Zemet to sell me a few of the remaining packs. Uh, actually, all the packs that were left unopened. Uh, get him to sell them for the channel. And so here we go. I don't have uh, super high hopes for like a Dark Confidant. But there are original Shocklands that are really good. Foil versions. Um, I think we went through the entire box and did not pull a single... Um, what is the card called? It was reprinted. Uh, blue. Uncommon. I'll try to think of it. Hopefully we'll just pull one and we'll be done. All right. First uncommon, Mori, or Moroi, Demir, Moro Swiftblade, Mr. Zemet beat me, I think, with this thing buffed up, Flash Conscription, and the first rare, I'll be happy with any shock lands, Mind Moil, five drop enchantment, whenever you play a spell, Put the cards in your hand on the bottom of your library in any order. Then draw that many cards. Um, okay, not starting out great. <clears throat> I think these are about 15 bucks a pack or something like that if you wanted to buy them. Maybe a little more. <laughs> Dog pile. I'm old enough to remember that that was a search engine once. First uncommon, Svagoth, or, uh, Svagthos, the Restless Tomb, Festival of the Guild Pack, Spectral Searchlight, and Glare of Subduel. Four drop, another enchantment. Tap an untapped creature you control, tap target artifact or creature. Actually, the card I, th I think we're looking for is common and even though you guys are probably screaming the name i can even think of uh it was reprinted in a dual deck hopefully we'll just see one this is my gp chicago mat that also says vip on it which basically just means you pay extra money and you don't really they put up a couple surge strips for you to charge your cell phone Demir Signet, uh, Seed Spark, Wizened Snitches, Vigor Mortis, little play on words. Oh, we have a foil. We have an Eye of the Storm. Boy, we've gotten some uh, crusty rares. Whenever it plays an instant, whenever a player, there's three enchantments in a row. Plays an instant or sorcery card, remove it from the game. Then that player copies each instant or sorcery card removed from the game with Eye of the Storm. For each copy, that player may also, or may play the copy without paying its mana cost. And we have a foil. It's a foil black card. Oh! <laughs> Necromantic Thirst. Not Dark Confidant. That would have been super saucy. I'm pretty sure we pulled all the shock lands. There might be one left. Um... I mean, of course, I think someone pulled a foil rare, but there could be another foil rare in here. So let's just keep going. Galvanic art. Arc. Compulsive research. Nice. Reman! That's what I was looking for. It is uncommon. There we go. There's the first one. A couple bucks. It was worth uh, quite a bit more before the reprint, but uh, I think that's probably the most expensive card we've pulled so far, and it's an uncommon. Perilous Forays, Sand Sower, 
and Talzmir Wolfblood. Six drop, three, four. Legendary Elf Warrior. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other white creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Tap, put a legendary two, two, green and white wolf creature token named Voja into play. Okay. Found ourselves a remand. That's not nothing. <clears throat> be nice to find another one. Since I think now we know why that card was so expensive, that's the only remand in the entire box. Dive Bomber Griffin. Stone Shaker Shaman. Cyclopean Snare. And Demir Cut Purse. Which is damaged. It's like all bent and... Yuck. Anyway. Whenever Demir Cat Purse, Cut Purse deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card and you draw a card. Fun little draft card, probably. Last pack. So this is the uh, final memories from GP Chicago. But uh, I made sure I was thinking of you guys while I was down there. And thought I would share at least something interesting. And this box was down there. I didn't have 500 bucks to buy it, but I was able to draft it and save a few packs for you. Here we go. Dark Heart of the Wood. Love that art. That would probably look really cool in foil. Greater Forgeling. So only one remand entire box. And our final rare, Court of Calling. <laughs> ah, before the reprint, this card was probably 25 bucks or 20 plus. It's still probably worth, I mean, it's still a great pull. Don't get me wrong. It's one of the most expensive cards in original Ravnica. The very last pack, uh, one of the chase rares. I'm super happy to get it between Court of Calling and Remand. Got a couple bucks there. With Convoke, search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost of X or less. Uh, or less, and put it into play. Then shuffle your library. So, sweet tutor effect, but also just puts it directly into play. So we had a Court of Calling, which is awesome. A damaged Demure Cut Purse. Uh, notable Uncommon Remand, and the rest were kind of meh. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to one day bring you a sealed box of it. But 500 bucks is just too saucy for my blood right now. Thanks again to Lengthy Zemet. If you have any memories from drafting original Ravnica, I'd love to hear about them in the comment section down below. If you happen to be new to the channel, please take a second to subscribe. And as always, crush that thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated, and we'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.